Hey there, so we are live here at Heather's Hobby Haven. I hope you can join us to color today. We are going to be working on this adorable Moe's digital pencil image called King for a Day. I thought he'd be perfect with Father's Day coming up on Sunday. Give us something to give our fathers um, for a card. You can also pick this image up over at Moe's Digital Pencil for 15% off. She's having a sale over there for until June 20th. If you'd like to head over and grab him if you haven't already. And there is a link down in the description box to do that. I'm currently having a sale at my store, Heather's Hobby Haven, on Copic Markers. So you can head over and grab Copic Markers for a dollar off. Just use coupon code Copic in the little... Um, coupon code thing when you check out and you can get a dollar off those until June 17th in case you need to pick up some more Copics you can never have enough of those um, also next week we are going to be doing this adorable baby Tilda Magnolia stamp for our live stream you can pick up this card kit over at the store for 25% off until June 20th with coupon code June 22. If you'd like to color along with me next week, head over and grab that and um, I'll ship it out today or tomorrow and you can hit that in time for our live stream next Thursday. So I have already um, printed my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. So let's see what we can do. Hi Trish, thanks for joining me. Glad you got computer issues all fixed up. <laughs> it's never those computers. They're a pain in our fanny, but we can't live without them, right? All right. So we're going to start out by giving him something to um, his chair to sit on. He can't just be floating in air. So let me grab some pins here. So for that, we're going to use E, 44, 33, 31, and 30. And I'm going to start with E44. Let's see here. Let's put this pin up here so I don't accidentally knock it over. And I'm going to give it some floor. So let's go, let's use the bottom of his chair as um, a guide. So I'm just going to draw a line straight across. And then I'm going to go up a little bit. So let's go, how about right here? And kind of go across, make sure it's sort of straight. Then we are going to do E33. And I'm just going to put some squiggles in here. So let's go trying to make kind of a wood floor. being fancy today okay then we're gonna go with e31 same thing we just want to add a few more lines How's the weather up there in Washington, um, Trish? We have rain today. I know, imagine that, rain. I'm ready for summer. We had sun yesterday, it was pretty nice out, but yet today, yuck. So now we're gonna do E30, and I'm just gonna color all of this in. Try to be careful here on the edge. We don't wanna, I don't wanna color my mat. Although I already have, evidently, because I need to bring something in here to clean that off. <laughs> I 
Then we're going to go with E44 again over these darker lines. Yes, that rain business is very depressing. I'm just so ready for some really nice weather. I mean, we've had our pool set up now for a month, and the kids keep looking at it, and I'm like, um, kind of cold. They still get in. They're crazy. And then I'm going to do a little bit more of my E33. But my husband came home yesterday, and he's like, it's hot. It was hot today. Did you get in the pool? I'm like, no. Just because it's hot one day does not mean um, mom gets in the pool. Mom is likes it to be a little bit warmer than 32. Well, you'll warm up after you get in there. Yeah, because you'll be blue. So we give him there a little bit of flooring. Something for his chair to sit on. Then let's go and do his skin. So let's see here. And he doesn't need any rosy cheeks. He's dad. So he's going to do... E11, 21, double zero, triple zero. <laughs> yeah. yeah, moms need 80 temperature water at least. Definitely. Because that water is cold. You stick your hand in there and it's like you just poured water out of the faucet into your glass to drink, only colder. <laughs> I'm not getting in that. So I'm going to start with my E11. Although it's supposed to be next week, it's supposed to be 77. So we're hoping for the best. And over here, he's got um, his one little finger on his remote. So we're going to color a little bit of that. And then he's got his sock. And then he's got his leg right here. And then for this hand over here, let's do a little dab on each of his fingers. And we'll go down the side of his can. And he's got a little crink there. Was, uh, his arm is bent, so we'll give that a little slash color. And then we'll go up here by his sleeve. Then we're going to do E21. I'm going to go ahead and fill his leg in down here and his other hand over here, except for that nail. Yeah, we have a trampoline, Trish. They they definitely go on that. But only it's really fun if you have the trampoline and you um, put the sprinkler underneath of it. They think that's super fun. We're going today after when we go to pick up Natalie from her house. We're going to go to... Um, shop for a bunch of pool noodles because Lexi's going to be five. We're having a five birthday party next. Well, she's not going to be five till later next month, but we're having a birthday party next Saturday. So we have to go come up with some kind of party game. So we thought we'd build an obstacle course in the backyard. I like how we decided, no, I decided that Mike, Mr. Hobby Haven would be doing an obstacle course in the backyard to make the kids run around and keep busy. <laughs> Because, you know, if it's freezing, they're not going to want to go in the pool. At least my, mine will, but the other kids might not want to. <laughs> okay, so we got his little legs there. So let's go up here and we'll do his face. So again, grab your E11. And let's do underneath of his, on his neck. And then we're going to do up underneath of his hair. He has little cheeks right there, so I'm going to go ahead and give those a little bit extra. I'm going to do his ears. And then down here, we'll do underneath of his little chin here. And then his little smile area. And then his nose, I'm going to do on this side. I don't know if I got any on this ear. Let's put a little bit more. Okay. 
Then we're going to do E21. Pinterest always has the best ideas. I got on there and searched all kinds of what do you do with five-year-olds, 25-year-olds at a birthday party. So I'm like, they're definitely going to have to be outside doing something because otherwise they're going to be running all over the house and the dog's going to be going crazy. Then we're going to do E double zero. Well, we have, we invited all of her kids from her class. So there was 22 kids in her class. So only three have said yes, but we have all of the family members who have kids too. So there's like, oh, nine kids right there. So hopefully, you know, not too many are going to say yes, but you know how that is. When you plan on only having 12 people, everybody in class says, yay, I want to come. So just plan for the worst and plan to have a bunch of kids and then you don't have to worry. Okay, so there's his face. Let's do, let's see his hair. Oh, I do it that one. And oh, here it is. So we're going to do um, 100 and N8 for his hair. But even then, 15 children, if you get 12 kids here, that's, that's a lot. That's why we are planning something outside. But that'll be fun. We'll do a few little streaks of that. And then we'll do a few little streaks of our N8. And believe it or not, I'm going to leave a little bit of white in here. I'm not going to color it all the way in. So he's got a little bit of speckles in there. Yeah, we want to make sure to go over and pick up the guy over on... Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Over at Moe's, because she's having a coupon, 15% um, off over there until, um, what day did I say? The 20th. So if you want to get any of Moe's cute little images, head over there and grab those up, because 15% off is, is pretty good. And of course, she's adding a bunch of super cute ones this week. Usually she has them every day. She adds them. She gives you half off. But this week, she's having putting a bunch of new ones on there, and you can get 15% off. So you still get a good deal. All right, let's see. Let's do his socks next. So let's see. What did I use for that? W4, 3, 1, 0. I'm not very good at that leaving the white thing either, but you know how it goes. So for socks, we're going to use W43210. Plus, there's not too much hair there, so it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> so we're going to start with our W4. And let's do the bottom of his socks. So let me turn my little guy here a little bit. So I'm going to do the sole part, little patch. <laughs> yep, it's Mr. Hobby Haven, only he has less hair. So then we're going to do W3 to fill this bottom section in. I even picked his clothes out. He's wearing his pajamas. I picked the colors that from Mr. Hobby Haven's pajamas he's always wearing around the house. <laughs> 
All right, so now we're going to go with W2, and we're going to do up here on the top of his socks. So I'm going to do this little line first for the seam. And then down here, I'm going to do underneath of these lines. And then we want to come away from this other sock. And then for this side, again, we'll do that little seam. And then let's see here we've got this is his leg swooping down but over here we've got a little bit of his sock. Hi Sue, thanks for joining us. Isn't he perfect for Father's Day? He's lounging in his chair. Now we're going to do W1. So we want to just soften those lines we already colored. So let's just go right along the edge. And Mo has a couple of cute, like, big guy. There's one that's doing a barbecue. And then one that's um, jogging the dog. Um, and a couple of, like, older gentlemen, too, that you could use to do, like, Grandpa Father's Day cards. And don't forget, she is having a sale this week, so head over there and check that out. Hi, Poland81. Thanks for joining us. Glad you could stop by. Did you head over and grab an image to color? We're going to do W0 to fill in his socks. I'm just going to swipe clear across. We got his socks going. And don't forget, next week we're going to be doing the Baby Tilda um, card kit. So here's a picture of her. And yes, we're going to do this colored skin. Um, I had a friend ask me to, she's got a new grandbaby coming up and she is has a little bit of darker skin tone. So we're going to do it like that. Although if you buy the kit, it comes with um, instructions to do the lighter skin girl too. And I actually need to color this again because Catherine Lily's birthday is at the end of the month and she's going to be one. So I thought that would be perfect for her as a birthday card. We're just going to change it up a little bit. Okay, so now let's do his pants. And I am having a coupon for that card kit if you want to go grab it and have it sent to you so you can color with me next week. And the coupon is um, June 22. So for his pants, we are going to use the 99, 97, 90, 99, 97, 95, and 93. Forgot what I was saying there. So we're going to start with B99. And for his pants, let's see. Let's do a little dab down here in this little section that is underneath of his foot. And then let's go a little bit in these little wrinkles right here. And then I'm going to come up from the bottom of the chair. And then we're going to do these wrinkles. And this one. And B99 is really dark, so you want to juice just a little bit. And then let's do a little bit where it's touching the chair down here. 
Okay, that looks like quite a bit. Now we're going to grab B97. And let's do just a little bit. Um, let's bring this underneath of his pants over here. A little bit. And then we just want to soften up a few of these lines. Because B97 again is still pretty dark. So we'll use it sparingly. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little section here where his leg is going up. Um, Sue, I don't think I've ever colored Moe's daddy's shoes in the boy. I don't think I've... I don't think I've seen that one. I'll look it up afterwards and see. Um, I'll put it on my list. It's probably super cute. Plus, you know, I've got my my cart going at Moe's because she keeps putting new cute ones in there. So I usually have, I have two granddaughters, so I don't usually get the boy ones. <laughs> I know that's terrible, isn't it? I'm just pro fond of girls, I guess. But I'll look into that one and see. Because I think I have the one for the girl that has, she's wearing the bigger, sh or the dress-up shoes. I love makeups too. Glad you could join us. How's the weather over there in Brazil today? We have rain here in Oregon. Next, we're going to fill it in with our B93. And I'm going to back with a second coat. So let's grab B99. But I forgot to do, he's got a little bit of his pants over here. This little patch of stuff is pants. So let's fill that in. And then we'll do B97. And then B95, and down here, I'm going to fill this in. And then I'm going to fill in his pants. And then I want to fix these by adding just a little bit more color. And then we'll do B93. There, he got his pants all going up. Okay, so then we're going to do, on his shirt, we're going to do... B97. I'm going to skip the darkest one and make his sleeves a little bit lighter. So we're going to go B97 up here. And then for this sleeve, let's go along these lines. And then I want to do a little bit on his collar. And then we'll add B95. And I'm going to fill this side in.
and then we'll fill the rest in with our B93. And even though I colored this one in, I still want to go over it with that, just kind of blend those colors together. Do you girls have any questions so far? Are you still doing all right? Let's see. Let's do the inside of his shirt next. So for his shirt on the inside, we're going to do Y26, 23, and 21. I'm going to start with our Y26. I'm going to brush away from the side of his shirt this way. And then I want to do the same thing over here. And then we'll add Y23. And I'm going to give it a couple of coats. I'm not worried that it looks terrible. And then Y21. Then we'll come back for a second coat, so Y26. And then Y23. And then Y21 over his entire shirt. So there we go. Got his shirt all done. And for my colors, I picked those out because my husband wears these blue pajamas all the time. But for their yellow, I went and um, got out my little color wheel and went across, and that was a complimentary color. So the color wheel always works really good for that in case you're stumped on what you need to put on there. Let's see, let's do, let's do this can over here next. So let's see, what do I need for that? Okay, so for our can, we are going to have R27, B97, C2, and C0. I'm going to do the outside first. We drink Diet Pepsi around here, so that's what he's going to be drinking. So we're going to do C2. And for that, I'm going to go away from this side where all these little lines are already drawn for me. And then I'm going to do a little bit over here. And I think I'll bring this side out just a little bit more. And then we'll do C0.
And I left a little bit of a white streak there down the middle of the can. Then I'm going to go back again with my C2. Just darken up this edge just a little bit. Then we'll add a stripe of our R27. And I know they're supposed to have some little swish in here, but that didn't work out very well the first time. So I'm just going to color across and try not to color his hand red. And we're going to do B97. And I'm just going to leave that line right here where that swish was supposed to be. Go like this. Hi, Cloud9 Crafts. Thanks for joining us. Do they have like, do your markers have like a fine point at one end and a chisel point at the other end or just not the brush tip? Okay, so those are canceled. Next, let's go over here. Let's hop over here and do this remote. Oh, what do, I, what do we need? Find my pins here. So I'm having, since you're buying Copics, I'm having a sale for a dollar off Copics this week until June 17th. You just go to the store and type in Copic in the coupon code at, when you check out and you can get a dollar off each of those in case anybody is buying Copics. That would be nice if those markers had a brush nib. I know Copic has now come out with a fine nib so you can replace the chisel end with a fine tip so you can have a brush tip and a fine tip so that's what I'm going to do when um, I have a few more dollars because I think the packages are like six dollars a piece so it's not in my budget right today but slowly I'm sure I will be replacing those because I never use the chisel end of my pins for anything <laughs> so I thought a fine tip would be better at least for some of them so that you could do like hair and stuff so you get a little bit more um, into little skinny areas, especially those stamp and Bella stamps. Those are really, really skinny. So for our remote, we're going to use T753, R27, and then T1. Yeah, that chisel end is just, I never use that. So I'm going to do T7 first. I'm pretty sure you probably, if you were going to use it to make... Um, like grass, or are you going to color in the whole area? It works good, but even then, when I do like sky and stuff, I just always use the brush side. Personal preference, I'm, I guess. But I'm kind of looking forward to changing them over to um, the fine nib on that side because, like I said, I just never use that chisel in, and the fine tip I think would be a little bit more useful. Add a little bit of that. And then we'll go T5. And then T3. And then I'm going to do the buttons with T1.
and then R27 for this little triangle button, and the little light. Okay, what else we got? Let's do these little, um, the chair legs. Let's see, what I do for that? So for those, we are going to do E47, 44, and 43. And we're going to start with E47. And I did not do anything fancy. I'm just going to go along the bottom of the chair and then do these little swirls. Oops. And then I'm going to go over those with E44. I started out coloring them the same color as the floor, and that didn't work out very well. So I decided I better make it just a little bit darker chair legs, so you can see them a little bit. A little bit. And then I'm going to fill them in with my E43. And let's do, let's see what we have for this. Two. So I'm going to use my C2 to do the little metal things that hold the chair leg up, or the little cushion. I don't forget to do those. And let's see, what am I going to do for this? Okay, so then that leaves us with this cute chair. So for that, we're going to use BV 29, 25, and 23. And I don't hardly ever use these colors, but I thought it would be fun to try something out and I actually used to have a chair that was this color so thought that'd be perfect so we're going to start with our BV 29 and over here on this side where he is leaning his head let's go right around his face try not to color him Not. And then over here, we're going to go right next to him on his sleeve. And we'll add BV25. And over here, I'm going to fill this section in. And I'm not worried that it's not blending because I want to do more than one coat. And then I'm going to add BV23. Then I'm going to come back with BV29. I'm going to fill this section over here in. And then over here, for this, I'm going to brush up more. So let's go. And we'll add BV25. And 
and then we'll fill that in with our BV23. I'm going to go ahead, since I got it blended, I'm going to go from the bottom all the way up. And that will soften the colors down here at the bottom and give them a little bit um, kind of mottled like appearance. Okay, so let's go down here and we will work on this. Let's work on this side of the chair over here. So again, we're going to do BV29. And for over here, we're going to go underneath this remote. And then down here, I want to color in between the gray sections. And then I'm going to bring this down and along the bottom of my chair. Then we're going to add BV25. And again, we're going to add a second coat, so don't worry if it looks terrible. And then BV23. And we're going to come back with our second coat, so BV29. Now I'm going to keep it pretty small here underneath the remote. And then we're going to flick this out a little bit. And we'll add BV25. And next we'll do BV23. Try not to color outside the lines here. Okay, so let's hop over here and do this side of his armchair. Let's do underneath of his arm, because this is still part of the cushion. And then for the seat, let's do a little bit underneath of this can. And then I'm going to add BV25. I'm going to fill this little section in. And then let me turn my guy here. So for this, I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to flick away from the edge of this chair. And then we'll do BV23. I'm going to give it a couple coats, so I'm not going to go clear to the edge. So that side will be a little bit lighter at the end there.
And we're going to come back with my second coat of BV29. BV25. And for this one, I like to go just a little bit past where I brushed it the first time. Oops, color the top of the chair. And then I'm going to fill it in with my BV23. I like to bring it clear out to the edge and then I'm trying to, I'm bringing it back. So it's kind of smushing the line that's out here towards the inside and trying not to go outside of the line. And there's still a little bit of line, so I'm going to go right down this line a second time. Then we're going to work on this inside part. So again, let's start with BV29. And I'm going to do right here where this metal part is not... I didn't color in. I'm going to color that in. Then let's do this cushion. So for the cushion, I'm going to go underneath of his leg. And then I want to go along the bottom of this. And we'll add BV25. So you girls have any questions so far? Doing okay on your coloring along? Don't forget if you didn't pick this image up, you can head over to Mo's Digital Pencil and she's having a coupon for 15% off images until um, the 20th if you wanted to pick him up and some others that you missed. Thanks, Sue, for joining us. Be careful in the storm. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, next week we're going to be doing our baby Tilda. So if you want this card kit, head over to the store and use coupon code JUNE22 in the box, and you can have her for 25% off. We'll get that shipped out so you can color her with me. I'm going to do BV23. Storms everywhere. See, I guess we're not the only ones having rain. I'm ready for summer. Then we're going to do BV29. I don't know if any of you girls um, color, do you use colored pencils? Colored pencils are really fun. Um, if you have want to watch a learn to color skin tones with fabric or style mar pencils, you can go follow Sassy Cheryl's Neighborhood um, over on Facebook. And June 18th at 1 Eastern Standard Time, she's going to be doing a how to on how to color skin tones with fabric Christel pencils live. So it's always she was our image last week. So I'll probably be over there hanging out with her then. If you guys want to do that, go sign up and. You can say hi to Sassy Cheryl. Always love her coloring. She does such a good job with those pencils. I have some, but I'm just, I don't practice enough with those to, to be an expert. <laughs> then we'll do BV25. I'm going to color this side in. 
And we're going to fill it in with our BV23. And I just swipe back and forth. I have Prismas too. Prismas are good. But you could go watch her live tutorial if you want to learn how to do skin tones and she will give you some great instructions. So now we're going to do down here at the bottom. So again, grab BV29. Although I find my Prismas, they break a lot. Do yours break a lot, Trish? I think I'll do the, the bottom part first. It seems to me like I'm always sharpening those things. I guess the Faber Castells are supposed to be a little bit better about that. They don't break like that. And let's bring. Yeah, that's one thing I hate about those Prismas is they're constantly breaking. I'm like, why do these things break all the time? I'm glad to know it's not just me. But I do like coloring with them when they're not breaking. Then we'll do BV23. And this looks like a hot mess. Okay. Give all that a second coat. That looks terrible, doesn't it? And we'll go with our BV29. I think I'm going to bring this underneath of this stool here. Where all those little lines are. And I think I'll bring this down just a little bit more. And we're going to have BB25. Then we'll go over all of that with BV23. Oh, Mr. Hobby Haven even put a link to Sassy Cheryl's Facebook page. You can go over there and sign up for her live tutorial if you would like. And she'll send you a reminder to, to go show up. I'm going to go, hopefully. Well, I have both grandkids, so I'm going to try to fit it in. It's always fun to chat with Cheryl. She's fun. Okay, this bottom part here. Let's see, what can we do with that? Then we'll go BV25 again down here because this looks terrible.
Oops, BB23. Let me straighten that up just a little bit. There, we have his cute little chair. And that'll dry. Mine's a little wonky now because it's pretty wet. But when it dries, it will flatten out. Then, I gave him something, some wallpaper. So let's see, what do we need for that? For that, we need BV20 and C00. So for a wallpaper, I did not do anything fancy. I'm going to give him a few little stripes back here. And I don't even care if they're straight. This is crazy wallpaper. So let's go right here. And then I did another one right next to it. And then I went over a little bit. So let's say right here. And I did a single line. And then I went over a bit and I did a double line. And then a single line. And so forth. Yeah, let's see. And then we'll do a single line over here. Be pretty fancy, right? <laughs> then I'm going to use my C00, and I'm just going to go right over the top of those lines. And you've got some instant wallpaper. <laughs> oh, just can't help it. I find that just too cute. Okay, so we've finished coloring our little guy. Isn't he just too adorable? And then we're going to, let's put him together. Let's see if we can zoom up just a little bit. Use the jumpiness here. So I didn't do anything fancy. I had this basic gray wisteria paper pad still sitting out from when I used it the other day. And I just grabbed some of these little scraps and put it together. So, we're just going to do that quickly. So, I'm going to start with this little green piece. And I put it about half an inch down from the top. Then I did this little gray piece, and this is date swirl. Basil cardstock. And there's a link to that down in the description box if you'd like to pick some up. And this one, I wanted it to come off the green section, so let's go like this. Then next, I'm going to do this little piece of pattern paper. And I think I will actually put a little bit of tape runner on the front. I tape rendered the map. Good job, Heather. I can have everything sticking to that all the time. So I'm going to take this and attach it to my guy so I can get it straight. So let's do like that. Then we don't have to worry about it being all crooked on there. Then I'm going to tape this on. Whoops. And then this is going to go on to here. Then I'm going to add this cute little piece of pattern paper here. And let's see, this is going to go down on here. 
And then we have our Happy, Fa Happy Father's Day. And I stamped this with a ancient, close to my heart, stamp little dinky alphabet set that I found. And it didn't even have a label on it, so I have no idea what it was called. But I found it in my little stash there. And I didn't even care that, and I to save time, I put the pop dots on the back already. But I didn't even care if it was straight. I just continued stamping it on there. And we're just going to pop that down here. Dads don't care if it's straight. Isn't that right, Mr. Hobby Haven? You don't care about that? <laughs> He's going to say yes, because uh, otherwise I'll go down there and I'll get him later. So there is our adorable Happy Father's Day card all colored up. Isn't he just totally adorable? Remember, Mo is having a 15% off through June 20th sale. So if you want to pick up any of her images, including him, head over to her store. And there's a link down in the description box. Just click on King for a day and it'll take you to her store and you can get 15% off. And she added like three new cutie cutie ones this week. She also does colored images now too, in case you hate coloring or just don't want to take the time to do that. You can just grab one and pick it up. Sassy Cheryl is doing her live stream for how to learn how to coat, do skin tones with Fabricel, Fabricastel pencils on June 18th at one Eastern time. And there was a link over in the sidebar there to do that. Don't forget next week, we are going to do baby Tilda here at the store so you can grab her over at the store as the card kit and for 25 percent off you can do coupon code june 22nd or if you want to pick up some copic markers too or and or those are a dollar off if you use coupon code copic now until june 17th so i hope you had fun coloring with me today and had fun otherwise i guess we'll see you next week if you have any questions, leave me a comment down in the comment box after the live stream posts, and I will make sure to get back to you. If you have a suggestion for a future um, live stream, leave it down there too, so I know to add it to my list. Otherwise, thanks guys for joining me today, and we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.